Consumers often take for granted the ability to access any food produce at any time of year. But increasingly, there are those who believe the seasonal nature of food deserves to be highlighted and enjoyed here in New Zealand. Richard Redmayne is one of those people, and recently he's gathered some farming families together to supply coastal spring lamb. It's a brand Richard has developed over the past five years. Coastal spring lamb is the first lamb to the market in New Zealand, so we have a group of farmers who lamb in June and July. Our aim is to have the first spring lamb on the market for the New Zealand customers. As a group, a lot of us have supplied lambs to Europe over the years, with the idea being to get the first lamb into Europe for Christmas. And I guess I often considered why are we doing this for European customers and, and not our own people? And so that was probably the genesis of the idea. The lambs have to be born and bred on the properties of the families that are involved. And we also have a policy of no growth promotants, no hormones and no antibiotics which is very much customer driven. We've got various protocols and procedures and processes that we follow specifically for coastal spring lamb. We supply a carcass product, so all our coastal spring lamb carcasses are between 16 and 18 kilos, and they're all P and Y grading carcasses. And we've got an additional step in the process that each one of our carcasses is double graded. So once they've been through the, the normal procedure at Land Meats in Whanganui where they're processed, a, a specific person will go through the chiller and will stamp the lambs that are acceptable for coastal spring lamb with a specific stamp. And once they've had the stamp, they then are able to progress down the chain and, and move out to the customers. We've really tried to tune into the seasonality and the provenance of products that customers seem to be looking for nowadays. So we very much see coastal spring lamb fitting alongside the likes of white bait and oysters and other seasonal products like that. I suppose the, the coastal spring lamb project has is, is morphed from being on farm and, and a little bit of marketing to very much now, it's during, especially during the season when we're in the supermarket, it's, it's a full-time job. So we're very focused pre-season on developing all the marketing material for the season and keeping that relevant and adapting it. Um, we, listen to our customers during the tastings and the supermarket owners, operators and butchers and we are very conscious of adapting our material to, to suit their needs. We use two food service companies, one by the name of Neat Meats in Auckland and one called Chef's Choice in Whanganui and they distribute it, the lamb into selected fine dining restaurants and we use those restaurants to define the brand and give customers an opportunity to, to try the lamb at a nice restaurant. As far as the retail side of it's concerned, we have a few independent butcheries, but by and large, we're exclusive to New World. We spend a lot of time, my wife Suze and I, doing in-store tastings, and we see that as a fantastic opportunity to, to actually meet the customers and, and get immediate feedback. And we've had a great response to that. We have a great response from, from people feeling that they're meeting the actual farmers, um, and that's, that's very rewarding. And it's also a fantastic way of getting feedback and then with a, a short decision-making chain we're able to implement change pretty quickly and, and aim to adapt. The first season, initially, it was just our property, Tunnel Hill, that supplied the lambs and it was very much a, a test season. So we killed about 3,000 lambs and tested out the processing and the labelling and, and executing the delivery in the supermarket. And then after that was deemed a success by foodstuffs, we then moved into a bigger scale whereby we got more families involved. The May was station farming partnership, uh, myself and two brothers, Mike and Chris, founded by my grandfather and his brother in 1908 when they bought May was station, which is a hill country block in land from Whanganui. Further to that, they purchased this property here in 1913, so uh, we've been here 100 years this year. I consider it a privilege to have been asked by Richard to come on board with Coastal Spring Lamb so that New Zealanders can get to enjoy what uh, I believe uh, is the very best of lamb that we get to eat. It's new season lamb, straight off mum, or no more than three or four weeks off their mothers. Where historically that lamb uh, has been exported to, uh, to Britain and Europe, so uh, the fact that we're enabling New Zealanders to eat it, it's, uh, it's an honour. We had a uh, family wedding where uh, my youngest daughter married a uh, South Island farmer, so a lot of the uh, 
a lot of the wedding guests were South Island people and uh, we actually had coastal spring lamb as an entree on the menu for the wedding and it was a, uh, a lamb loin on a caramelised onion tart with avocado and roasted, uh, roasted red peppers and uh, it went down an absolute treat uh, to, the, to the extent where a lot of the people that ate it said that was the nicest lamb that they'd ever tasted. So that was fantastic. Yeah, so you'd be, be pleased with the lambs from today, Tim? They, they oh, they were heavier than I thought, yeah. I'd... Financially, it's a viable proposition for us. Uh, we're getting a premium over and above what we would get uh, at our other meat company that we deal with through the year. If the demand grew for coastal spring lamb looking ahead, uh, we would uh, very definitely consider putting our whole lamb crop through it. We're targeting 16 to 18 kilo carcass and our weight, live weight increases as the yield decreases. 36 kilo milk lamb is about 49% and we get about a month, six weeks later, we're down to about 43, 44%. So we're doing a 39, 40 kilo lamb. We have a, a regrassing program on the farm here. Every seven years, the grass is renewed and that usually goes through a plantain and clover or a chicory and clover crop. And so with those two and new grasses, it's rocket fuel for lambs. Most of these lambs would only have one to two drenches in their life because they're only three, four months old when they're killed. So they're not around long enough to, to need animal health. As a group as a whole, we don't really benchmark against each other. We see each other as a group four or five times a year. Myself and my dad, we farm with Dad's two brothers, so we're talking daily and weekly as well. Pretty special when you go into a shop and you can see something that you've produced yourself. It's um, very re rewarding and uh, we're pleased to be able to do it and that Richard sees us capable of helping achieve what he wants to achieve. This programme was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.